I was made redundant a year ago, and since then, job hunting has felt like hitting a wall. In New Zealand right now, the tech job market is brutal. Some roles getting 400 plus applicants, and even though I've worked as a data scientist, nothing was landing. But here's the twist. ChatGPT had already helped me lose over 50 pounds, so I wondered, could it help me find a job too? So I handed over full control of the process to ChatGPT. It ran a real exam-based skills audit, testing me across key areas it identified from my CV. For me, that meant coding, data, cloud, and even soft skills. It gave me scores, ranked my strengths, highlighted my weaknesses, and built a full training plan to improve my employability. And based on this exam, it did something that genuinely shocked me. It didn't just help me write a better CV, it completely redirected my career. ChatGPT told me I wasn't a data scientist. I was already doing the work of a data engineer. I just didn't have the title. It reviewed my experience, rewrote my CV, tailored each cover letter, and even helped me find the right jobs to apply for, acting like a personal recruiter at each step. Here's what it did. Scanned the job listings and told me whether I should apply or skip, wrote personalized cover letters tailored to each ad, suggested tweaks to my CV based on what the job required. It was like having a personal recruiter and career coach on call 24 seven. And the best part is I went from generic applications and rejection to an 800% increase in callbacks. So today I'm going to show you exactly what I did step by step so you can do it too. At the start, I had no idea what job to target, but no real clear direction. I've created a plug and play template that you can use to get your own ChatGPT to run the exact same assessment I did. It's completely free, you can grab it in my Discord, or if you prefer instant access, there's a direct Google Doc public access link in the video description. Just copy it and paste it into your own ChatGPT. Okay. I've just opened up ChatGPT, so I'm gonna show you how we start the process off. So we have, I've got my document saved in the Google Drive here. So we're gonna copy and paste this, and then we're gonna put that into ChatGPT. And then we also, it's gonna require your CV. So we need to upload the CV. So I'm gonna use my old CV. So we put that in. Okay, and so now that will be all it needs to start the process. So we'll press into here. Okay, so thank you for providing your CV. Based on its contents, here is your structured AI and technical skill audit, starting with sections one to three. Sections four to six will follow once this foundation is established. So basically what it's saying here is, um, this is basically the exam time. So here it's basically gone through my CV and done an amazing job. So it's pulled out the key areas within my CV. Obviously yours are gonna be different. And so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up with a um, test for each, for each section. For example, the data science machine learning test, develop a predictive model to forecast customer churn using a provided data set include feature engineering, model training, evaluation, and explanation of model choice. Um, it's basically send, setting me up a one hour project. Now, it'll obviously differ depending on what you're doing. I just also wanna say, my Discord is free, obviously, available to everyone. So if you're doing this and you have any questions, because it's gonna be very dependent on the field that you're in, um, feel free to come into the Discord, join up, and I can answer any questions for you that you ask as soon as I see them. Don't feel like you're gonna get lost, I am there to help. In my case, I needed the dummy data set to do the project on. You might need something depending on your criteria. Mostly, ChatGPT is gonna be able to help. For example, in my case, I simply just asked it to generate a dummy data set, and it did. So if you need something, just try asking ChatGPT. It will probably be able to help you 95% of the time.
So once you've completed the assessments, it's going to give you a rating out of 10 and say this is an example of my soft skills and leadership assessment results and it's telling me my score, what my strengths were and what my weaknesses were. And the more technical ones, it's going to give you more specific areas where you can improve your weaknesses. For example, in data engineering, it told me I need to get up to speed with Databricks and Snowflake and when I actually went to apply for jobs, those were definitely the two programs that people were asking for. So it was absolutely spot on. And here's the moment everything changed because based on my scores, ChatGPT analyzed the market and said I should be applying for senior data engineer roles. Not data scientist, not analyst, engineer. This blew my mind. Why did it pick it? Because even though I'd never had that title, I'd already been doing 70 to 80% of the work in my previous jobs, just without the label. It showed me these roles were more in demand, they were better paid up to 180K and a stronger fit on what I already knew. And then after that, it built out a 12 week learning plan to fix my gaps and get me ready to take on those senior roles. If you follow the prompts from ChatGPT, it will do the same thing for you. If you're having any problems getting up to do it, again, just come to my Discord, ask me some questions and I'll help you out. Next, I had ChatGPT write me a brand new CV based on the career switch. You can see that I'm doing that here. I'm asking for a new CV based on my skill assessments and my old CV, which I upload. For me, I needed to emphasize data engineering. You might have your own focus. It won't design your formatting, but it will write your personal statement, your bullet points, your story tailored for the new job, and then you'll need to format that into a CV in Word or Google Sheets. If you don't have a CV, it's no problem. Just write a one or two page document in plain text. Don't worry about grammar or formatting. Just focus on getting all the details out. List every job you've had, what you did, and how long you did it for. The more detail, the better. Then upload that to JetGPT and it will turn it into a polished CV for you. As you can see, this is the data engineering CV it made me. Obviously, I've hidden my name. And essentially, these are the sections that it wrote out for me. And I just made it look nice in Google Sheets. But this, all the content was written by ChatGPT. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come and we need to look for, so I've been told to look for data engineer roles. So let's look in here. We look for a data engineer. Okay, so here we go. Senior data engineer. So let's, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the whole job description. And then we're gonna go to ChatGPT and we're gonna say, here is a job description. Uh, what do you think? Just copy and paste in that job description. So it's told me, no, do not apply for this role. You are currently targeting Azure and data engineering plus permanent roles with a minor stretch into Spark's Databricks. GCP is a completely different stack. You need months of ramp up time to be confident. So in that job, it's told me to skip it. Oh, well, let's see what else we can find in the data engineer roles. Here's another one. So let's copy and paste this one. How about this role? Okay, so we've got a yes. So it's matching up all my, all the skills they're looking for in that job description and whether I match it. And you can see there's a lot of yeses here. The next step is the cover letter. Can you please write me my cover letter? Okay, so here it writes out the cover letter and you just copy and paste that. It'll do bold, sometimes it'll do bold or it'll do like little little like symbols. So I definitely want to get rid of them. So essentially, this is the cover letter. It's good to go. Now read through it because you might find things that you want to 
you want to change there might be certain things that it hasn't mentioned that you think are worth mentioning so you can go back and you can say to it can you rewrite it but bear this in mind so i'll just give you an example of that but it's sort of a basic version so i need it to be in new zealand english because we don't use american english so i'll just say can you make sure that the cover letter is in nz english there we go now it'll take all the z's out of analyze and replace them with s's we need to change our newly vamped up cv so let me download this as a pdf document here is a here is my cv can you recommend any changes i drag and drop my cv yeah and i'll just let it upload and now it'll read through my cv and give me any recommendations that it thinks i should do so it's basic sound it's pretty good yeah so here it's just telling me to change i have um this bit here and it's saying to change it to foundational spark experience with growing data bricks exposure there we go so it's got a few more changes but i'm not going to go through all of them just for the sake of saving time so go through that make all the changes to the cv and then you basically you have your cover letter you have your cv prepped for the job and then all it is is a matter of applying for the job i've used this method and it's definitely worked last week i applied for 10 jobs the old way my old cv no help from chat gpt and the jobs that i used to apply for and i got one callback from 10 applications then i applied for 10 jobs with the chat gpt method that i've shown here and i got eight callbacks from 10 applications so it works i hope you found this video helpful I know that there's a lot to take in, so if you need any help, come say hi in Discord, the link's in the description. Uh, thanks everyone for watching.